What's going on YouTube, GeoSnowRight here, so in today's video we're discussing about the status of the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak for the 64-bit devices. As you probably know, the 32-bit devices received a jailbreak from TeamStar for iOS 10.3.3 and lower, but that jailbreak did not support for the moment the 64-bit devices and that is iPhone 6, iPhone 5s and so on. Now before we start and discuss, because I have some good news for you, but before we start and discuss, I would like to remind you that I have created a course for you to learn how to build iOS applications and how to become yourself an iOS developer and understand all this stuff. And you can check it out in the description down below, it's pretty cheap, you can check it out and um, you can take a look at the class curriculum to see what you will learn. Those that are marked with preview can can be seen for free so you can understand what you're going to learn and how I'm going to present the information. And you have quite a lot of lessons in here in which you're going to learn how to become a programmer, how to secure your application, how to code for iOS. So why not check it out? There is a coupon in the description, actually it's PL5OFF, that will give you $5 off from this course. And there is another one in the description called GeoSnow, that if you use to purchase the one year version of the course, you get $60 off. So check it out in the description down below. Now let's talk about jailbreaking. Well, we have two things that are going on for the moment. The Meridian, which is a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.x 64 bit that is coming soon apparently, and this guy in here is working on it. It's not been released yet. We do not know when it's going to be released. He published a demo which is quite interesting and I'm going to show you in here and the application seems to be uh, working with the exploit published by Saigusa and seems to be glued together by multiple people but it seems to be working for the moment. It's again not complete and we do not know when it's going to be available. The website has already been set up uh, on December 27, it's going to be meridian.sparks.zone but it's not been uploaded yet and um, I'm pretty sure the guy is very okay with creating a public jailbreak so he's not going to keep it for himself if he creates one, but um, we still need to wait until this is done, until it's, you know, reliable, but there is somebody working on an iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak, and in my opinion, he seems to be quite knowledgeable on the iOS. Now, there is another developer that is also working on that, and that is Joseph Shenton. Now, this guy has been working on multiple projects, he's a uh, beginner developer, but he does know iOS, at least a bit. And uh, he's now working on C0F3, which is this project in here, which again is an iOS 10.0 to 11.1.2 jailbreak. He tries to pretty much combine the exploits that are available, you know, Vortex for 64-bit, Vortex for 32-bit, the one used by... Um, Team Star in his jailbreak, and um, the enhancements from this guy here, async, um, you know, async wake, and the KPP less from Xerop. Now, you don't understand how important the KPP less is, because normally, in order to apply your patches, you would need to mess with KPP, and that's what Luca Tedesco did in the Yalu. He made a very complicated, yet effective KPP bypass back on iOS 10.2, uh, 10.1, and lower. And according to him, his KPP bypass might still be usable with some modifications on today's standards, but um, it's not being used for the moment. And uh, by the way, we're currently using the KPPLS by Xerob, which seems to be for the moment a better alternative than rewriting uh, Luca Tedesco's KPP bypass. But anyways, yes, there are two developers currently active in developing a 10.3.3 jailbreak for 64-bit and of course lower, 10.3.1, 10.3.2. Uh, this guy in here seems to be, again, uh, very knowledgeable on the uh, iOS topic. Joseph is, again, very knowledgeable as well, but he's still a beginner, he understands the concept, but um, he doesn't have the experience that other developers like Saigusa or Timstar have. Well. Anyways, I would give them a chance to see what they can put up together. The exploits are already available, therefore, um, what is to screw up? I mean, Vortex is already available, KPPLS is already available, Async Wake is already available. Uh, they just need to glue them up together and make Cydia 2 work somehow. Now, um, yeah, it's a good thing that there are developers working on that. I wouldn't put my bets on a jailbreak for 10.3.3 up until January, but at some point it will come. So if uh, you are running iOS 10.3.3 or iOS 10.3.2, 10.3.1, 10.3, on a 64-bit device, do not worry, 
is going to come. By the way, he says in here, quote, for your information, I am hoping to add support for earlier versions of iOS 10 to Meridian in the future. If you're an earlier version at the moment, I'd recommend you to stay put. So do not update your device to iOS 11.1.2 or 11.2. Currently, if you're trying to update to iOS 11.1.1 or iOS 11.1.2 in order to jailbreak with the uh, with Jonathan Levin's jailbreak or with um, Abraham Mastery's contraption, then uh, you will not be able to do so. You will uh, directly go to the iOS 11.2 or 11.2.1, which are not jailbreakable for the moment. So if you're running iOS 10.3.3 and so on, stay put. Do not update. There are developers working on that. There are exploits working for these versions, so you are safe. It's just going to take a little bit more. Just be patient. Now, again, guys, if you're interested in becoming an iOS developer and understanding all this gunk and how it works and how you can create applications for the App Store and for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, I have developed this course with Phone Lab, and I definitely recommend you to check it out. It's pretty well made, in my opinion. We took like three or four months in order to put it together correctly and you know make sure it's okay for beginners and. Um, it contains anything you need to learn about Swift, you know, as a uh, beginner, anything you need to learn f about making an application and Xcode and everything related to building with CocoaPods and stuff like that. So you can build pretty nice applications with that. So check it out in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gio Snow, signing out.